Hi, I'm Chris from FlashyGlass.com and this is my wife Jackie. Uh, today I'd like to demonstrate how easy it is to apply a new window mural and if you have one on your truck already, how easy it is to take it off. Um, if you have one on your truck, just find a loose corner, start from that side, and work your way across. They really come off very easy. As you can see, there's no residue left on the glass. Some simple uh, glass cleaner, paper towel, take it off. You can see there's no residue, it's just dust. Before you apply your new window, you, know, you want to start with a clean window. Alright, once you get your glass clean, you get your window mural. You get it lined up, you get it straight where you want it. You get it taped up, put a piece of tape right in the center, on the top and the bottom. And then tape your corner. Once you got it taped up where you want it, just double check, make sure you have enough, make sure the, the picture covers the edge of the glass all the way around. You can feel the glass. Make sure your picture is level and exactly how you want it before you go any further. Make sure you have it taped down real good so it doesn't move once you start the application. And once you're ready, fold it back a piece and this is when you have your partner help you hold the top and the bottom. Have your scissors ready. You can go back. Go right about there. And you cut this off. Because the material is perforated, you don't have to worry about air bubbles. They make installation a snap. Have somebody hold the, hold the material just above the glass. Try not to let it stick. And work your way from the middle, straight across and on. And you see there's no bubbles. And it just applies really. If you do have to catch a wrinkle, spot that wrinkles, just pull back on the material gently and just lay it back down. It really is that easy. This would probably be your most complicated spot. Start by just cutting right down the middle of the hinge. Don't cut past the hinge, but cut far enough that you can lay the sides. right around the edge of it. You can leave yourself a little extra because you can always take more off once you trim a little off. Push it right up against there. It's not hard to do as long as you take your time. That's it. And you want to trim around the edge once you have it applied flat on the glass. There's no wrinkles, no bubbles. We won't get any bubbles, but there's no wrinkles. Take your razor blade, cut around the edge of the glass. And peel the excess off. Once you get one side done, it's time to start on the other side. Keep your two pieces in the middle. Actually, I'm sorry, take two pieces off. Time to remove all the tape. Make 
clear it. Again, if you have somebody to help you, it makes things a lot easier. Let them hold it. We're going to do the same as we did in the first step. We're going to remove the back. Now we're just going to work our way across the glass the other way. Start from the center. Work your way up and down. Like I said, if you get a wrinkle, just pull it back. The whole secret is to take your time. Don't rush. If you rush, it uh, makes things a little harder. Now to trim the glass, what we're going to do is take the squeegee, we're going to pull back just a little bit and work it right up to the edge. We want to make sure the edges are stuck on there real good and that the edge isn't stuck to anything else. It's not stuck to the car, only the glass. We'll pull it back off the car, run it right up there with the squeegee so it's stuck to the glass. Then we're going to take our razor blade. And we're going to run it right along the top of the glass, straight across. And I'm going to peel it back. That's how easy it is. You just slide that razor blade around the glass. You may need to go back and touch up the rough area. As you can see, the, uh, the honeycomb shape of the holes in the material, the perforated material, makes the material real flexible and easy to work with. Uh, since the material is perforated, you don't get any air bubbles under it. It just lays right down. The air passes right through the perforated material. Uh, application really is simple. It's not hard at all.